right, on today's video, we are back at the range, and today we are going to be doing the first shots and my initial thoughts of the Taurus G3 Tactical. Now, I picked this gun up at Norton Sporting Goods, local gun store I go to quite a bit on Black Friday, and I got a really good deal on this gun. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, about six months ago, I did a review of the Taurus G3C. It was loaned to the channel from a subscriber, and after I got it out to the range and did the video, I was quite impressed with it. So when I seen Taurus was coming out with a G3 Tactical, this went on my list of guns I had to have. Well, now I got one. Today, all we're going to be doing is the first shots with the suppressor height iron sights. This gun is going to be getting an optic, but I wanted to take it out to the range, shoot a few rounds through it without an optic, and just see what I think about it. Now, if you have not watched the video before this one, we did do an unboxing video on this. We went over everything that comes in the bag, all the specs of this gun. We're not going to be covering any of that today. The only thing we'll be covering today are the first shots and a couple of small things that I left out of the unboxing video. All right, let's go over all the ammo we're going to be shooting through the Taurus G3 Tactical today. We got some 115 grain arms core. We got some 115 grain Federal. We've got some herders, 115 grain. We got 115 grain CCI blazers. And we got some 124 grain reloads. These are my Barry's bullets. And these are sitting on top of 4.8 grains of CFE pistol. All right, I got 10 rounds loaded up. We're going to start out with the 124 grain Barry's bullet reloads. Like I said, this gun has not been shot. I am wearing gloves. It's only about 30 degrees out here today. It's super windy. And these groups probably aren't going to be that good shooting iron sights because everybody that watches the channel knows I shoot red dots. So here we go. All right, not a real good group, but seems to be kind of shooting a little bit to the right. Now, one thing that I brought up in the unboxing video was I wasn't a really big fan of these all black suppressor height sights. I wish the front blade on this was just a little bit thinner and had a white dot or maybe a fiber optic. But the nice thing is with this, it does take Glock sights, so these can be taken off and there's hundreds of different Glock sights out there. But other than that, it's, uh, it was really hard to see that right diamond. This is all pretty much just covering it up, but it is getting a red dot, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but that group's a little better than I thought it was gonna be. All right, I got 10 rounds of the Herders 115 grain loaded up. I'm going to shoot this without gloves because I want to talk about this trigger a little bit. So let's uh, shoot the top left target. All right, we had a malfunction. Okay. Mag's locked in. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got a problem. All right, a little bit better group. Let's pick that ammo up and see what's going on there. Had some light primer strikes there on those two. Well, they got struck, but they didn't get hit very hard. So that's a little bit concerning, but we got plenty of other ammo to shoot. Now we've shot this herders on the channel before with other guns and, uh, We've never had an issue with it, but uh, those definitely didn't get hit very hard. All right, let's try this again. We've got 10 rounds of CCI Blazer loaded up. We're gonna shoot at the bottom left target. All 
All right, ran them all. Shooting a little high. That's me, though. All right, now I want to talk about this trigger. I am going to show you this gun is clear. Nothing in it, nothing in the mag. All right. When I reviewed the Taurus G3C, when I did the unboxing video, I kind of said the trigger was a little horrendous in it, and it was because of the take-up. But one thing that I like about these G3s are even though there's all that take-up, it's not gritty, it's really clean, and it's got a nice, crisp break. But what I really like about these triggers and these G3s is the reset. Right there's the reset and the brake. So after I got that G3C to the range and I started shooting it, I have a tendency to ride that reset anyway, and I really, really like the trigger. All right, we got 10 rounds of Federal loaded up. We're gonna shoot at the bottom right target. Here we go. All right, not too bad. I definitely probably should practice shooting with iron sights more. All right, I picked up a couple pieces of this brass. One of these is the uh, CCI Blazer, one's the Federal, and these primer strikes are perfect. So I'm gonna guess it was that Herder's ammo. Might have really hard primers in it. I can't remember what the last nine mil was we shot with them, but. It was definitely ammo, it's not the Taurus. All right, I wanna talk about these magazines. I've only put 10 rounds in them so far for this test today. So let's see how easy they are to load them up to capacity. Now, as far as putting 10 rounds in them, they're real easy to load. They're not overly stiff. All right, we got all 17 rounds in there. That 17th round was a little hard to get in, but a fairly easy mag to load. All right, now the next thing I want to test, this is one of my favorite things, is the ETS loader. Now, this is made for Glock mags, but it does work with my Walther mags, and it works with my Canic mags. So let's grab 10 of these off of here. And let's see if it will work with the Taurus mags. And it does. So you can use the ETS mag loader with these Taurus G3 magazines. All right, we got a USPSA target set up down here. We got the mags loaded up to 17 rounds. Let's just see if it runs all 17 rounds through each magazine. All right, here we go. All right, ran them all. All right, one other thing I want to talk about is the grip on this, because we didn't really talk about the grip much in the unboxing video. But this gun is clear, no magazine. I love these Taurus grips. Now, they don't look like much, but the stippling that's on these, whether you're wearing gloves or you're not, I really like the grip on the G3C and the G3 Tactical. And I also love the grip on my Taurus TX-22 competition. When you look at it, when you only see the stippling and stuff in the certain areas, it might throw you off a little bit, but these grips are just amazing. This, this gun just fits my hand perfect. So really happy with the grip on this and the frame. So far, so good. Really liking this gun. Again.
Ran them off. Now those were my 124 grain reloads. I shot all 34 rounds out of both mags. All right, so here was our 34 rounds. We got all alphas, three Charlies, one Charlie over here. All right, my initial thoughts on the Taurus G3 Tactical. So far, I really, really like this gun. Now, I can't wait to get an optic on it, get it back out here to the range and shoot it, but I wanted to bring it out. I wanted to shoot it with the iron sights and just kind of get a first impressions on this. Let's talk about all the things that I really, really like about it. Probably my favorite thing is the grip and the way this gun fits my hand. It just feels awesome in my hand. Now, as far as how it ran, it ran flawless other than the two rounds of herders that didn't go off, but it had no issues with my reloads. It had no issues with the Federal ammunition, had no issues with the CCI ammo. Now, I did forget to run the Arms Core 9 in it, and it's just because it's cold out here today. I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. This is my third video I've shot today, so I'm just ready to call it a day. I really want to bring this thing back out with an optic on it and just run the shit out of it. The other things I like about it, love this color scheme. I love this Patriot Brown slide with this FDE frame. It just looks cool. I love the fact that it's got a threaded barrel because we will end up running this gun suppressed and doing a review on it with a suppressor now let's talk about the trigger the trigger doesn't bother me i actually like the trigger once you get through that first initial take up on it as long as you're riding that reset there's nothing wrong with this trigger that trigger has very very super short reset and a nice crisp break you just got to get through that initial pull of that take up now, the way I shoot, I normally never release the trigger all the way out. I just wait for the reset, and I'm back on it. So when it comes to these G3 triggers, they don't bother me a bit. And I will say they have definitely cleaned it up even more because that take-up is just super smooth. There's no grittiness or anything to it. Really, the only thing that I don't like about it, I just don't like these sights. I love the fact there's suppressor height, and you're going to be able to co-witness with a dot, but... I just don't like the front sight on this. Now, the back doesn't bother me. What I'll probably end up doing, maybe go with just a little bit of a thinner blade up here on the front sight, maybe get a fiber optic or a white dot front sight. But other than that, I'm not going to do anything with the rear on it. Um, it's just that front sight. I just don't like it. And But once there's a dot on it, it's only going to be used as a backup anyway. So let me kind of go over what all is going to be coming up with this gun. We're definitely going to be adding an optic. That will be the next video. We are going to run it suppressed. So we will be doing a suppressor video with this. We'll end up doing a long-term review video on it. If I do change out the front sight, we'll do a short video on what I decided to go with. Um, other than that, I'm not going to mess with the trigger. The trigger will remain just the way it is from the factory. And the reason being is, I did win a holster on Full Lead Taco's Q-Tip Challenge video, and I talked to Jason over at Concealment Solutions, and he's actually going to be making a holster for this gun. So we'll do a review on that holster also. I probably will carry this gun, and the reason being is it's only 1.2 inches wide. It's fairly thin, and it has a 17-round capacity. So this gun is just kind of a do-it-all great gun really from what i can tell so far now time will tell the more rounds we run through it and then and the more reviews we do with it 
So, my initial thoughts of the Taurus, I like it. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this, and I think we're going to make a lot of cool videos with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.